Hey, what's up and welcome back to Interpreting the Stars, where today I got a quick review talking about a brand new Netflix release starring Jason Momoa. It's Sweet Girl. Sweet Girl tells the story of one man against Big Pharma. After a deeply troubling and tragic event, a man and his daughter set out to exact revenge on a mega pharmaceutical company that does not care about the little guy. But the deeper he gets, the more he finds out how tangled this web of conspiracies lie. So the main thing that attracted me to see Sweet Girl in the first place was the cast. Knowing nothing more about the film than simply it starred Aquaman and the live action version of Dora the Explorer, and they both do a fantastic job here. Honestly, I was consistently impressed with both of their acting ranges. Because even though the narrative is a somewhat typical plot that we have seen and heard in the past, both of these actors brought a little sum sum to the table that at least changed it up enough to stand out on its own. In fact, one of the best things that I can say about this movie is simply the fact that it had an unpredictable direction in an otherwise predictable narrative. Meaning, you really can teach old dogs new tricks. This is how you find originality in an otherwise overdone narrative. I had no idea how the film would pan out, and so certain things came out at me and surprised me, and that doesn't happen very often for me. I almost always see certain things coming. Not here, though. Is it a deeply meaningful film that you'll remember for the heart? I don't know. Obviously, it's all geared around Big Pharma and how much sometimes they can be seen to be at fault for certain medical cases. And there's a big theme centered around cancer. And of course, the father-daughter dynamic is pretty strong, for sure. So it has heart. It does. But what it also has is a lot of just action. And the action is a lot of fun to watch. It's well shot and it's well edited. It's Jason Momoa kicking tail but sometimes it dilutes the heart of the drama angle, which technically started the film off on a more calm, albeit melancholy note. I'm reminded actually of John Q, which was more of a medical crime thriller. And yeah, that had a lot of action and heart that I think was probably more well balanced because it was contained to one area and the theme and concept never left the medical field. It was always about that and John Q was always in the hospital. This switches things up as this guy tracks down person after person, place after place, etc. I didn't hate it, but it's far from being as special as the other. Honestly, the main takeaway with Sweet Girl for me is just the fact that it's entertaining, unpredictable, and performed really well by both of our leads. I didn't know what I was expecting overall, but I'm also happy with the outcome. Let's go ahead and break down my final score. From a technical, unbiased vantage point, the film is made well enough. There's not a ton of technical aspects that us stand out though, other than the performances of our leads and sometimes the way certain fight scenes are filmed. I did respect the editing a bit as well because that was incredibly important to get right. But other than that, everything was mostly business as usual. This score is 76%. My bias score, just how I felt about it overall, was a bit higher because in general, I did have a good time with it. I was invested, engaged, and having fun and I wouldn't mind re-watching it or even recommending it to others. This score is 84%. When we combine the two scores together, we come to the final rating of 80%, 80 out of 100 possible stars or a B plus letter grade. Guys, have you seen Sweet Girl? If you have, let me know your overall thoughts on it in the comment section down below and as for YouTube, you guys know what to do, hit that like, subscribe button and bell to be notified when I come out with my next review. And until then, peace out. Dave examines movies. We just watch for fun. Davey is the expert. He is the number.